Suppose that we have four forces all acting on the same object at the same time. Here are the four forces shown on the diagram below. Calculate the magnitude and direction of the resultant force or net force acting on the object. Now before we do that, we need to analyze the situation here. The 60 Newton force and the 275 Newton force are called linear forces. This means that they are acting along the same line. Also, the 135 Newton force and the 45 Newton force are collinear forces because they are acting along the same line, which in this case is the y axis. But the 135 Newton force and the 275 Newton force are not collinear forces because they are perpendicular to each other. This means that the forces cannot be added vectorially, or we cannot simplify the vector sum of these two forces. But as for collinear forces, we can always find the vector sum of the forces. Now let's go ahead and find the solution. The first step is to calculate the net force acting on the object horizontally. Let's call it the sum of forces in the x direction, sigma fx. This is going to be equal to 275 newton plus negative 60. The 60 newton vector has to be negative because it's acting along the negative x-axis. Now this is equal to 215 newtons. And because the answer is positive, this is to the right. The next step is to find the net vertical force. Let's call it sigma Fy. This is going to be 135 newton. 135 newton is positive because it's acting up along the positive y-axis. This is plus minus 45 newtons. The 45 newton force vector is negative because it is acting downwards. Now this is going to be positive 90 newtons. The direction of this is up because it's positive. The next step is to indicate the two forces on the Cartesian plane. We've already drawn in the two forces on this Cartesian plane here. We complete the parallelogram and indicate theta the direction of the net force. Now the net force or F res and theta are indicated on the diagram. To calculate the magnitude of F res, we're going to apply Pythagoras theorem. Now this means F res is equal to the square root of 215 squared plus 90 squared. The answer to that is 233 comma 08 newtons. Our next step is to find the size of this angle here, theta. Right. Now, to do that, we need to look at this triangle. It's a right angle triangle. This 90 is opposite this angle theta, and this 215 is adjacent to the angle theta. Opposite and adjacent, that gives us tangent of theta. Tan theta is equal to 90 divided by 215. Now we need to get the size of the angle theta. This is going to be calculated as tan inverse 90 over 215. The answer is 22,71 degrees. Now we can quote the magnitude of the resultant force. F res is equal to 233,08 newtons, 22,71 degrees north of east, or above the positive x axis. Sorry, axis. Right, thank you. Let's bring us to the end of the lesson. Thank you. See you next time.